What's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel with another fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content in this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis. Today, I'm joined with two other Ravens fans, two of my closest friends right here, two of my brothers right here, man. Uh, you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves, man. Ed, you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go yeah, first. I'll go first. Yeah. And my name is Ed. 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 You know, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just here to talk to all the guys. Yeah, I'm Nevin. Um, I don't really have a drop or anything like that. <laughs> but I'm just here to talk football about my favorite thing, the whole thing. All right, man. So, so for this first video, uh, we're going to talk about um, expectations for this team um, as a team as a whole. And then we're going to go through some individual players as well. So what are y'all expectations as far as what do you expect for Cedar from the Ravens this season as a team, like, you know, record-wise and things like that? What, what y'all thinking this year? Definitely, Definitely winning the division. Uh, okay. That's a stat. Uh, so, so we're, we're, we're going to go by the record. record. What is it? What is seven, it? seven games. <laughs> Twelve and five. 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 I think I can see going five and five. 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 I, I think, I think uh, uh, we go as far as – a lot, a lot of fans feel that way. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of us feel that way. What, what, you, what you, what you thinking of? I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, like 10 and 7 is happening in the division. Okay. Okay. Honest, okay. Like, you know, I mean, I, I think, you know, the way you know, the way offense is, the way the game is playing, like, you're going to lose a couple of nobodies. And then I think that the Bengals just – yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. They, 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 can I count that? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, please. So, so as far as, as, far as the Bengals, Bengals, I'm gonna go I'm on a record, man. I, I respect them. You feel me? Yeah, and all of that. Yeah. But this year, this year, I think we're gonna show them who the big bro is. I really do. We we added Marcus. That's basically like an outfit that year. And I'm not sure. Uh, two uh, safety high or, or the single safety high. I'm not sure who's going to play in that, but I think we're I think ready we're for it. I feel like, I feel like when it comes to, it comes to, comes to the, you know, the the Jamar Chase and all you know that. Yeah, we got to worry about the TV. We're getting Marcus Peters, which is great. I'm happy about that. And then happy to see some of the young guys. Pepe, I like Pepe. Was it Nessie right Nessie right yeah, yeah, Pepe. Yeah, yeah I, I like his game. game. He, he's, he's aggressive. aggressive. But, but but really, really like, the like, defense, defense all lines help each other. Each other. So, the pass, pass rush is good. The DBs should be decent. Yeah. The DBs should be good. Then you might get some coverage. You know what I'm saying? So everybody works for the That's how I look at it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that the Bengals are definitely going to be a team to watch. If I had to get a, if I had to give a worst this season, I can't see them winning any less than ten games this year. Honestly, just okay. the way the schedule, they Ravens have an easy schedule last year. I mean, this year just because they were the last place team in the division last year, so you know they kind of got the easier schedule. At maximum, I can see thirteen games, but I'm I think I'm with Evan. I think I'm at twelve. I think twelve is a solid number. Twelve and five, I can see that. Um, and as far as the division, I think they win the division. I do. Um, with the Bengals, it's good points. It really is good points, but. Well, I see Jamar Chase, I do get a lot of A.J. Green flashback of how he used to dominate us in the games. And, you know, I, I thought that when once A.J. Green left, oh, my goodness, we got a break. And then here comes here come Jamar Chase right behind him pretty much. Uh, but I can understand, like, being cautious about it because it's like that's a young and up-and-coming team. And it kind of reminds me how they was before, you know, when Tyler Boyd was still there, A.J. Green, Andy Dahl. And it's like now they got that, but, like, kind of back revamped a little bit, even better than before. Um, so I can understand being cautious about that. But yeah. I think last year, 
you know, like the former defensive coordinator with Mark Dale said, you know, they were going against uh, DoorDash workers, you know, in the corner. So. <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> but, but he wasn't, he wasn't telling the whole, especially in that second game. Especially in that, sec, that second yeah. game was, I mean, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, guys yeah, like man, Robert Jackson, right. Von Seymour, things like that. Um, Marcus, Marcus Peters being back, Marcus Williams being back there. Even, mm-hmm. I know some people are kind of not as excited, even Kyle Fuller. I know he had he didn't have the greatest training camp, but even Kyle Fuller, I'm excited about because he's gonna be the third corner. He's not like gonna be like, oh, put him on your number one guy. So he, he's gonna make sure. I feel like I he's, feel a, he's, like he's a number one. Yeah. So he, he, he might gamble a little bit. I don't see I don't see I, I didn't really, I didn't really too, much too much in training. 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 So, so I didn't I didn't see the you know the disrespect that people had about him, but we're gonna see. I mean he either got played well or they gonna, they come, gonna in. come in. Well, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call you a former DB, right? So as a former, <laughs> as a former, as a former DB, they were, they were, they was giving him a lot of hell for losing one on one drills, and as we know, one on one drills is heavily favored towards Ross. So it's like, I, I can't be like, oh, he's trash because he lost one on one drill. I mean, I, I can't. It's hard for me to go that far. So, you know. Yeah. And it, it, it's funny because I, I was I was at the stadium practice for that. And like it was like, all right, he got beat. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Then you look on Twitter, it's like it's a clip everywhere. Like, damn, like it's Every a one on one. First of first a slot first a slot receiver. If the Ravens put Carl Hamilton on the slot receiver, they I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go out to the stadium. <laughs> I'm telling Come on you, now. I'm going up to the box. To the box. It, you know, so um, they they're gonna use him to play to his strengths and covering the slot is not what he's supposed to do. He's gonna be on maybe bigger slot receivers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, tight ends, guys like that. But yeah. a speedy, shifty guy on the slot, they do that. They asking him to get cooked. So that's gonna take too much. You gotta put it in your place. Yeah, yeah. So, um, all right. So look, we we said that about you know expectations. You know, all right, Nevin. I like it, realist, optim, you know, you know, keeping it down the middle, ten and seven. I, I respect it. I respect it. So, just real quick, I'm wondering, what do you guys think about the rest of the division? How, what do you think I think about like the Browns and the Steelers? Do you, do you think they cause any threats to the Ravens, or is it like you know, it, we're not really too worried about them guys right now? I'm gonna go out on the Steelers. The Steelers, the Steelers, 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 Steelers might give us. Steelers. 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 I agree. I, agree. I mean, you look I mean, at it, 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 it don't matter who the Steelers got. The Steelers can have me at DB, and no matter what, they're going to play the talk. Every single time. And like, it like, never matters. So, yeah. You know, and I think that if they go to this quarter, that transition. Because I don't see Mitch last the entire time. No. But once they get in that rhythm, we're done. I think that they can pose a threat to at least one of those two division games. I don't see them being any. You know, no. bottom of the bottom barrel. Of the barrel. Is, I definitely think third is, 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 you know, you know, it's order. Them. All right, so that leads me to the next point. Can the Browns survive 11 games off Deshaun Watson? Can they Can no. they keep afloat with, with Jacoby Brissett? No. 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 I, want, I, want I, want, I want to win I've been saying this to myself ever since I've seen Deshaun Watson. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't. Okay. This is the Browns organization. They cursed, huh? They cursed. <laughs> All right, that's just how it is. Yeah. No, I feel that. They cursed. It's, it's, the Browns, it's the Browns. It's the Browns organization. They they, they got Johnny, Johnny Manziel. Manziel. I, heard I heard so much, so much stuff about. It. It. It's almost over. So they got Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon. Gordon. It's, it's almost, almost over. over. Still, Still enough. enough. And now Kareem Hunt went out. That's, that's that's major. That's major because Nick I, I, seventeen games with Nick Chubb. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. What you thinking, Evan? For once, For I once actually do that. You know, I just think the Browns are the problem, and it'll and never it'll change. change. But you know, you know the Sean Watson will help. help. They have this they have dark, dark clouds, clouds over them. Over like, them. no matter what, what happens, they're not, not going to be that team. That team. And, and, you know, it doesn't have a little bit of time and we're not, not fine. fine. But we've seen, we've seen all the stories, you know, whether it be injuries that's big enough, 
people leaving or whatever the case is. So, so I got the glasses out to not to visit me. That's enough of the Sean Watson talk. I'm not gonna get into that. We I already talked about it, and they yeah. they wasn't feel, they wasn't feeling the last yeah, one I talked yeah, about. So, yeah, so I, I ain't gonna do it again. So anyway, all right. So now I want to talk about some expectations for the season. We're gonna talk about some individual players though. So first, you know, we know what happened today with Lamar Jackson. He didn't get the contract, and you know we not you know how we feel about that. But let's talk about on the field. What do we think Lamar Jackson is gonna do on the field this season? What, what, what y'all got? Healthy. Healthy. He gonna get his thousand yards. I think that he, think he as a passer, as a I think he I might have a breakout season. Break I, mean, I mean, I think that I Hollywood, think Hollywood, Hollywood and all his balance he was a liability in some aspects. He definitely was. Then you add to that Lamar getting the running game back, getting Gus back, getting JK back. You know, that's, you know, that's one, one of, like, the one bread and butters, but it's basically to you know, get, get scared, scared of that run, run. Open, up open up the pass, the pass. and then even still with him running, running, can't put a, can't put a hand on him. So, no, healthy, healthy, I think that Lamar is going to be, he's going to have a breakout MVP season, but he's going to be good. I got you. Yeah, I agree. So... As as we as, as we all as know, we put, put on some we put on some muscle this this summer. He dropped that about they said two twenty. They were saying two thirty, but come on, I know I know he he said he about two twenty five, two twenty eight. He said he said somewhere around there. That's what he said. He really like he really like two fifteen, two eighteen, maybe max. That's what I was saying. You know, you put you add on the pads about two more times for real. Right, right. I get, I get it. You know, media you know, books. You know, scared of him as much as he can. He still can still move at the same pace. Well, that's what well, I'm. That's that's what I'm, more, more, I'm more I'm anxious, anxious to see that how how, how he moves the weight on. Weight on. You know what I'm saying? saying? He still is different. I'm not, I, mean, I question the weight, but, but I do want to see how he moves with the weight. Is he still as shifty like that? Play against the game a couple years ago. He did that. That was just just absurd. Me, but yeah, but I, if he I, if he done that at two twenty five, the league is in trouble. In trouble. And um, yeah, no, that's crazy. One one. one, one so what, so what, what, what I'm expecting from him, like you like, never said, most most of the time, uh, but really, really, really throwing off the pitch. Um, um, we do contrary to the league. Everybody's saying we need another receiver. Offense is utilized correctly. One person, One person that, that I, I respect, I want to expect him to big game from me and Drake. Okay. Yeah. I like, good, I like, good pass catching back. Yeah, I like him yeah, like out, out, out of Alabama when he came out of Alabama. He was, he was live at Alabama. So I'm pretty sure he's still got I'm not sure what the knock on him is, but you know how in the head he's running back. For sure. All right. So I want to say this, right? I got a question for y'all. This is the over under question, all right? Lamar Jackson over under four thousand yards, passing, passing, passing. passing. You go first. You go first. <laughs> Thanks, a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. I think. Four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand about right. Four thousand about right. Because what was your what was place your place place last year? Uh, I read somewhere it was like four thousand eighty-two, something like that last year. That's what he was on pace for. He doesn't get hurt, so like just just above it. Mm-hmm. Right, with right. mailmen well, out there helping him out. Yeah, yeah. Mailman was doing. That's about it. <laughs> uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go I'm under. 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 Okay. But I, I believe that, now I know I did say that, but nine, the thousand on the rushing court, but I'm going to say nine, nine to like 1,200 on the rushing court. Even yeah, though I, know, I don't really I'm care for him to run it that much, I really want to just switch to the passing for real. But we don't know, we don't know, but Gary Rome is on call, and by him not running two seasons, and it's, really it's, and it's funny because that's that that's what Lamar Jackson wants. All, all he ever say in press conference, like, yeah, I'm gonna throw the ball to my guys. That's all he ever say. 
but you know, um, that's for another day. So I, I think that. So I, I, I just did 4,000 divided by 17, right? You put all 17 games, that's 235 yards a game. Okay. Do I think Lamar Jackson can get 235 a game? I think he can. I think that's possible. I don't think that's like a crazy number. I think he can get right. 235 a game. So I'm going to say over, and that's going to be, to me, that's me being optimistic that we kind of, like last year, I loved how much we passed the ball last year. And it wasn't even like we passed the, a significant amount to other teams, right? But it, we passed it more than what we did so far in the Greg Roman. And I don't know if that's because of injury or whatever, but I'm hoping it kind of stay like that where Ravens had a good passing attack for the one of the first times in a, in a minute. Um, right. You know, Lamar had some games where he struggled, but, you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say over 4,000 yards. I'm going to say over 4,000 yards. All right. So the goal is to do three guys on offense, three guys on defense. So the second guy on offense, I, I'm asking, all right, J.K. Dobbins, does he get a thousand yards this year? Or we think that, you know, he's coming off the ACL. It's going to be kind of a slow burn kind of year. What, what, what do you think for J.K. Dobbins? I think, I think, I think it's going to be a tough one to get a thousand yards. Yeah. All right. Only, all right. Only, only because, because what do you got? Missed like, 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 like the first four, first games, four right? games, right? Well, he, he's not on the pup list. So he's, they, they got him listed as questionable for the Jets game. So I think he'll play, but how much? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I need him to play every down. I got him on my fantasy. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of him. I don't know. Unless somebody might want to sit on big one. I don't know. Yeah. So, so with, with JK, JK um, um, he had, he had that, that, like, like, once he once touched he the, ball, the ball, like, like he can score. He can score. He can, yeah, he, he he can, he can score. Can score. Also, off of a, what is it? Um, off a of counter, like he, he, he can take that to the credit. So I don't think, I don't think him getting, getting a lot of carries will hinder him, hinder him from, from being productive. But I'm not sure if he's going to crack a thousand dollars this year. But we we can only see. I don't think he's going to crack a thousand. Depends on how much he's going to get. Okay. You you want the same train? Uh, never. No 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 thousand for JK. He ain't gonna crack a thousand dollars unless he likes some bank from him. It's a it's a it's a lot that we gotta overcome for him. But I mean he's still gonna be productive, but it's just not that much productive. A thousand, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a yeah, I, I I think that his so his rookie year when he was splitting with Ingram and Gus Edwards, I think he had about eight hundred, something like that. I think he gets to I think he gets to nine just because I think the Ravens are gonna be cautious with him. I I I, I, I do. Then they're gonna be cautious with him. And um, Gus Edwards is coming back. Mike Davis is here. King Drake is here. You know, King Drake could be more in passing down kind of roles, but still, they got a lot of guys to touch the ball. Um, and I don't think right off the ACL they're gonna make him the workhorse. Maybe next year. I don't know about this year. So I, so, I think I, I'm in agreement with you guys. Under a thousand for J.K. Still a good season though. I still thought J.K. have a good year, but under a thousand. No, I'm thinking under a thousand. I, I think he's gonna play at the front and not yeah, for sure. Because sure. it's like, that opened up the run game in the head. Off the top. So, so literally, literally, I feel like anybody could run it on the system. System. I mean, we saw Devontae Freeman get rejuvenated in us. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't yeah, understand why Adrian Bell get out in our system. I can't understand it. Well, that's 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 why he boxing me. Yeah, exactly. That's why he boxing me. Uh, that joint got postponed too. I'm I'm glad I ain't gonna see him this time. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all, right, all right. Um, last, last guy on offense, man. We got a new wide receiver one. Well, not not new. I can't say new, but he's taking the place of Hollywood's wide receiver one, Rashad Bateman. Uh, over a thousand yards. How many touchdowns? What what we think for Rashad Bateman this upcoming season, man? You know, it's a, it's a lot of targets. It's a lot of opportunity for him to step into, man. What what, what we thinking? Over a thousand. Over a thousand for Bateman. For sure. For sure. For one, half of Hollywood's problems are dropping the ball. Yeah, Lions game was rough. Lions game was rough. Lions game was bad. It was the Lions game that... It was a... What other game was it that he had multiple games like that? See, that was my thing with Hollywood. Like, I know it was hard to defend him, but like, Outside the Lions game, he was he was pretty good last year, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like really good he did right have there. like he would have like one drop every couple games. Like, but that Lions game is just like 
it's stacked on top of each other, so it's in everybody's mind. And right. I can't blame him because he dropped about two touchdowns, at least two touchdowns. At so I, I can't blame him. So, um, but I mean, you know, so back to Bateman, back to Bateman, seven, seven. I think seven will have more than three. Yeah. Uh, so I was excited about when we would bring him into the game last year because every time he caught a pass, it was a like every, literally, like, 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 like his first, maybe I'm gonna say seven. seven. His first seven catches in the NFL was first. first. So, yeah. so, so with that being with that said, said, Lamar, Lamar all right, all right, all right, all right, all right Dan, Dan. Mark not Mark open. open. I know I can get I the ball to beat. Or he straight out like I'm getting the ball to beat him this time. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Bateman this year, and I I think he'll be over a thousand yards. I think he'll have about he's gonna go with the jersey. All right, now you ain't give me a touchdown. Who do you think for touchdown? Because we know Hollywood, Hollywood was a touchdown maker. We know that. He, 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 called, yeah. he put the ball in the paint. What do we think for Bateman? I'll give him about eight. I think the touchdown wide is going to mark him. We need that big body. And that's the one thing that Mark So, I mean, I'll, you know, I'll give Bateman a solid eight. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say this for the for the Ravens' sake, Bateman needs to be a thousand yard receiver. Honestly, you know, for, yeah. you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Way it's set up, it's set up for him to get a thousand yards. So, you know, eleven hundred yards, nine touchdowns. I think something like that for Sean Bateman would be a really really good season. Um, I think last year, what proved it to me was when I saw the entire team struggling versus the Dolphins. The entire team, there was one guy the Dolphins couldn't guard, and that was a Sean Bateman. Yeah. Um, yeah. It took the Ravens to the second half to start throwing him the ball. But when they did, it didn't matter if it was a slant, uh, nice stutter fade route. It didn't matter. They 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 couldn't they couldn't hold Rashad Bateman, and uh, he was the only guy like that. You know, Sammy Watkins losing the he losing the ball in the air, and I, uh, you know what I mean. Oh, no, I don't even no. talk about that play. That play upset me so still. But anyway, so when I saw that from Rashad Bateman, and then Ed made a good point about the first down thing. I remember the Chargers game. He caught a pass. He was short the first down. Put a move on the guy. Stiff armed him. He got the extra couple yards. I was like, that's why I see the one right there. You know what I'm saying? That's why I see the one right there. So um I you know, over a thousand, about nine touchdowns. So we we, we all pretty close on, on what we got for Bateman. All right, so we're gonna we go oh wait, you got something else? I was gonna say it's funny because like, you know how you say he made the move and got the first down. My father would have been like, like see, see how they gonna be running out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, yo. But I, I, get, I get it. I get it. I get how you're running out of ground. He a buck fifty something left, bro. Like, he gonna be yeah. Like, he, man, that, that that man Hollywood added muscle and was one seventy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Like, no, Hollywood last year he didn't just catch the ball and fall. He tried to make some moves, but at the end of the day, like he's not going to break a lot of tackles, bro. It's just not what's going to happen. And you know what I mean? So I hate to I hate, I hate to compare him to, to, to uh, Cheetah, uh, Cheetah, you know, but Cheetah gonna make a miss. He might right. he, he he run, run you over. over. He he might like, on you. Cheetah a little different. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. See, like Hollywood fast, but yeah, Tiger Kill speed is like this. It's a different kind. It's a different yeah. kind of speed. Like, different. um, all right. So we gonna flip over to the defense. We got to talk about the pass rush. Right now, the Ravens only have two outside linebackers on the roster. That's healthy. Uh, so, we, we thin there, which means this guy right here, we, we got to have a big season from him. So, Adafi Owe, double-digit sacks, over, under, what we think. Because we're going to need him. We're going to need him, man. At least, especially these first four weeks, bro. Especially these first four weeks. And don't, and nobody don't, know that more than him. Yeah. Yeah. If we just high on the DBs, he can get double it. He can get double it. I think he can get in. He can get in the back by him from cover stacks on top of that. If we talking the DBs being that good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm 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 with y'all, man. Because one, of the opportunities gonna be there. You know, Wink Wink not here no more. He ain't about to be dropping back in the coverage, which you know. We saw we saw Sidarius leave here, become a superstar. We saw Judon leave here, become a superstar. I gotta imagine the Ravens was like, hey, look, you know, Mike, Mike McDonald, you got a great system in Michigan. You drop what Dafio away in coverage, you're gonna have a problem. You know what I mean? So um I think that he's gonna rush the pass through a lot more. And just because of that, he's gonna have opportunities in 
when I saw him versus that, the, the Cardinals game, so when the, the pick six that's all he threw was really because of Adapi Owe. You know, he, he he beat the left tackle, came around the edge. So if he could do that, I mean, obviously the Cardinals, that probably wasn't a starting guy. But, you know, but yeah. still, if he could do something like that during the regular season, it should be enough opportunities out there for him to get 11, 11 and a half sacks this year. I think it's not enough opportunities out there for him to get that at least. You feel me? Um, so. So we're Owe. It's Owe. It's Owe. Owe. That's it. That's, oh, that's it right now. Yeah, I mean, they yeah, they, they signed a guy Kyle cool. Fackle off the practice squad, but right now we're just gonna say O.A. Houston. Just O.A. Houston. And uh, yeah, uh, and, uh, uh you're you're not gonna be mid season. I think I think Taj Bowser comes back week five right off the pup list, and uh, and Ojabo maybe week nine. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe maybe week nine for for Ojabo, something like that. If I'm being optimistic, mm-hmm. maybe like week nine. So. so I'm gonna go I'm ahead. Gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. Gonna be honest. This game is gonna be tough. Man. I, I like this game. Like this game. I'm, not I'm not sure what, 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 the, what the, it is about this game that, that hasn't really, really like, like, you know, shown, shown up. up. I guess like like today. Today. I mean, I don't want to put the game in pocket because you know they got drafted in the same time. They had still on sporty times, but they had two totally different players. You can you, you can you drop Mike up in the cover. In the cover. You, can you can do that. You can't really, can't do, really that do that with that. Well. To, me. to me. But I mean, him and straight, straight up. All he's gonna do is grab off the team and rush in the QB. He should have a good year. Under under double digit set. Under double digit. I I can I can respect that. I can respect that. I can give him. I'll give him eight. Like eight. I mean. Eight, eight, eight is still a good season. Eight is still a good season because I think he had four, four and a half last summer. He had something like that last year. So yeah. if he can double what he did last year, it's, it's a good year. It's a good second season. You know what I mean? But the Ravens have a lot of guys. So I think he's going to rush the passer for the first time in a while. I mean, a guy who I was really excited about ended up getting hurt. So Travis Jones, I was, you know, so they, they, they already ruled him out versus the Jets. Yeah, they ruled him out. He got he got hurt in that game versus the um, fourth quarter versus the Cardinals. And, and, and people got mad at me for saying that, oh, he's a rookie. What does he prove? Okay. Like, th- that was like if Isaiah like was still in the game in the fourth quarter, bro. Certain guys, you could say, okay, he know what he's doing out here. Let's let's take him out. To me, Travis Jones was one of them guys. He was he was dominant. So, it is what it is with that. Um, hopefully, he doesn't miss too much time, but he's he's out week one for sure. Yeah. Um, so, we know, we'll see when we get him back. All right, so so the last two guys, both in the safety group, so we can just do these guys together. I love them together and talk about them at the same time. It's uh the rookie Kyle Hamilton, number 14 overall, and Marcus Williams. Um, Obviously, this is the Ravens' kind of new safety group right here. This is going to be the guys for the next at least, you know, three, four years, you know, for certain. Um, what, what do we think about this new safety group and what, what can we expect from them this year? I'm expecting big things from them. I'm uh, expecting big things from Marcus Williams. Williams. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's been through it all. He had a he rough. Had a rough. Didn't, I didn't even say he had a rough one, but he had that he had one. That one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody remember, but he had a great year that year. So he's t- he's, he's taking that year and he's gotten better every year. I just don't want to stop this one. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it will. And when he gets, you know, when he signed with the Ravens, I'm expecting him to be a big, 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 make a lot of plays, be really be the leader on the defense, and and especially at the second, you know, I know that I know that he's Marlon, but at the safety, he should be the leader. He should be putting Kyle Hamilton in the right positions where he need to, where he can make plays, and you know, Chuck Clark. To be on the same on the type thing, they should be. They really should be to a certain extent. extent. Not Chuck Clark. Like, I don't want to see, see Chuck Clark in the deep third at all. <laughs> 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 we seen it too much last year. Yeah, we yeah. seen it too much last year. When I, when I say when entertainment, I, say I mean like, like, you know, like it should be on the same type thing. Thinking wise, like oh, I know they should be able to diagnose things at the same time. Go make them plays. Not me. No, I don't, no, need, I don't it. need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. Good job. Good job. What, what you think about the safety group now? 
This is the this most confidence I've had in my safety for us in a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can say that. I can agree honestly, with that. Honestly, it's, 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 it's been it's shaky. Been shaky. Just, just even just, just you know, know, like, the DBs in general for me is shaky. It just never snaps you, but they were all in sync. Like, at all. And then, like, you know, you get back to safety, so it's like a liability. But now I'm like, okay. We got some talent, some talent back there. Back there. Can they, they all be in sync? You know, it will be the core. And can they be healthy? healthy. Yeah. Biggest thing. Uh, that's a fact. You know, we, my biggest thing is I'm going to lock with Marcus Williams just because the Ravens haven't had a true center field free safety since, you know, Earl Thomas got caught in, you know, in that situation. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, I had to say, I had to say, all right, no, no, but no, bro. Uh, we just haven't had a true center field free safety since, you know, Earl Thomas on a serious note. But um, Marcus mm-hmm. Williams is a guy that he plays right there with confidence. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he sees the ball in the air. He don't get nervous about it. He go get it. You know, I feel a lot of times our guys is like, oh, damn, the ball over my head. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, um, you know, having Chuck Clark at Deshaun Elliott, 25 yards away from the line of scrimmage was not it. That wasn't that wasn't their strong suits. Um, but you know, Marcus Williams, this is what he does. This is this this is why he was brought here. So I expect a lot from him. If he can get cause just cause he's gonna be so far back, probably if he can get three, four picks this year, I'm I'm happy with that. Uh Kyle Hamilton, I think they're gonna bring him along slow at first because I think the Ravens are gonna put him in a lot of different spots. So I'm a little nervous about like he gonna be thinking and not playing, you know what I mean? Like I was kind of hoping the Ravens would just put Kyle Hamilton in one spot. So, you know, learn this spot, come grade this spot, yeah. and then move on. But I feel like they're going to put him all over. So, um, with that being said, I think he's going to have a good rookie year, but I think it's going to be more next year, what he's going to do next year for Kyle Hamilton. I think he's going to have a good rookie season. But I think, you know, not, nothing crazy. If he can get some force fumbles, some interceptions, and things like that, and he's 6'4", bro. If he can do what he did versus the Cardinals and get his hands up in the passing lane, Oh, I, I love to see that. You know what I mean? So, I um, could that, see, that's kind of what I expect, bro. I can see, I can Kyle, see Kyle Hamilton. Hamilton. So, so, so it you know, looks like, 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 like Chuck is going to be starting with, with Marcus Williams. Williams. Right. But I could but also, I could also see, see uh, uh, um, Kyle, Kyle Hamilton in like, like a, did they, they call like a role? Like a role. He's kind of like, not the nickel, not the nickel corner. But he probably, like, really like, like, and, and he's, he's, he's a, in the lineup. But I'm not I'm sure, not you know, he was looking a little thick in the background on, on preseason. So, yeah. I'm not sure if that's going to fit him or not. But maybe he'll come in more fast and down and feel like that. We just got to figure out what we're going to do with that one now. Because I know he's going to be screaming up something. He got, he got a lot of guys. He got a lot of ballers on the his defense. So, you got to put him in the right position. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right. So that, that, that wraps it up for this video, man. So we gave our expectations for the Ravens seasons and some individual players, what we think they're going to do. Let us know what you guys think they're going to do in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabe from Fan TV. I'm out.